At this point, you've learned what post relationships are, how to set them up, and connect related posts. In this lesson, you'll learn how to display related posts on the front end of your website. We already have an event. It's the AI Summit. And we've already connected four speakers to this event. Now, when we see the event page, we want to list out the speakers that are going to appear at this AI Summit. Or another way of saying it is, we want to list out all the speakers that are connected through post relationships to this event. First, we'll go to the content template for events. At the bottom, we're going to create a new view. Name it. We'll keep it as a grid layout and hit next. The content we want to display are speakers, so we'll choose that. And the system is already selecting what we want. Speakers that are related to the current event. So we'll leave that checkmarked. It's the key to bringing in related posts. Next. Everything else here is just design. Nothing special has to be done since the system already knows how to bring in related posts. For quick design, I'll add a two-column grid. I'll just add an image block to the left side, make it a dynamic source. In this case, I can use current source, since it's already the related speaker. Under image settings, I'll make it smaller, at medium size. In style settings, I'll give it a round border by putting a high number into the border radius. Moving over to the side of the grid, I want to display the name of the talk this speaker is giving. Now that information is not located in either the speaker nor the event. We added it to a field when we created the connection. Getting to that information is really simple. Let's create a single field block. The field source is a custom field. The source is a relationship. Speakers, events, talks. I'll discuss this further in a moment. Next, we'll choose the talks field group. And the field we're choosing is the talk title. Okay, let's step back for a moment. This talk title field was created along with the room, duration, and language of the talk when we created the link between speakers and events in the last lesson. If you don't recall this, I suggest you review that lesson. The important part to notice is that when we created a connection between speakers and events, a third post type was automatically created, which on the demo site is called talks. It acts as a bridge, since a speaker gives a talk at an event. Then we opted to add these extra fields that are particular to talks, such as the title of the talk. Now, it's not the title of the speaker who has his or her own name, nor is it the title of the event, which in this case is called AI Summit. No. This is only the title of the talk. So it makes sense that we have special fields only here. If you're really observant, you'll remember that in the last lesson, I called this third post type speakers events rather than talks because this was the default name that the wizard chose for me. The creator of Toolset's demo site gave it a smarter, custom name called Talks, which makes more sense. But it shows you that naming is arbitrary, and you need to find your own logic for what you're creating. Okay, moving forward, I'll quickly style the talk title, making it larger. Now we'll add in the speaker's name. Add a single field again, standard field, we'll leave it as current speaker. We'll pull in the post title. 
And there you go. We're getting the speaker's name. We'll just style it. OK. And if we want the description of the speaker, we'll again do single field, custom field, current speaker, field group for speakers, and we'll choose the speaker short description. Next, let's add more about the talk itself. Again, single field, custom field, relationship, speakers, events, talks, talks field group, and we'll choose language to let people know what language this event will be in. OK, before looking at this on the front end, I'm going to go to our view loop and change the main grid layout to a two-column grid. Looking on the front end, we see how this will all look. The size and layout of the text can be improved, but the important part is that we are dynamically displaying data on the event page, showing information about the speaker and information about the talk, all by using the power of post relationships.